had an unbelievable result in the, in the final four with CLA being the underdog and uh, and pulling off the huge upset over Michigan. Uh, what were your thoughts on the, the the Bruins and Mick Cronin, who I did not think was a great fit for UCLA when they hired him about a year and a half ago, but uh, I've come to uh, realize that um, fit might not be as important as we once thought. Well, he was he wasn't their first choice, we know, and and uh, you know, but he was a successful coach with a certain style, and I'm I'm highly amused, Jeff, listening to the the pundits. The, the high paid pundits yeah. uh, who are on the, the thing is, oh, this isn't the normal UCLA Greyhound streamline. Wait a minute. This, this, this opened the door for one of my favorite little basketball topics of the last 15 years, which is the three UCLA teams, the plow horse teams that Ben Howland lugged into the final four with next to no chance of ever winning yeah. ever with NBA talent because Ben Howland hated every second his team actually had the ball. Yeah. 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 And, no. uh, he was one of the, he was like the patron saint of the coaches who are happier when they don't have the ball than when they do. And I, I did a little research, Jeff. Go ahead. Let me throw some names at you from those three UCLA teams of 06, 7, and 8. Maba Amute, Hollins, Farmar, Aflalo, Collison, Love, and oh yeah, Westbrook. Yeah, you know what Westbrook averaged? <laughs> Two, three, four? I don't know. It wasn't know. much. <laughs> it wasn't much. No, those teams were loaded. They were loaded and they were offensively gifted, but the reason uh, why. Uh, well, let me give you some scores. Okay. Uh, and in the 06, uh, when they got to the championship game, uh, they got there by beating LSU 59 to 45. And in the championship game, were beaten by Florida 73 to 57. In this 07, they were beaten in the semi 76 66, again by Florida. And then in 08, with all this firepower, which included Kevin Love, Westbrook, Collison, Nabal Mute, they, they got beat. 78-63 by Memphis. So this is this is UCLA basketball, folks. Well, <laughs> here's the thing, Bob. Here's the thing. They actually have been scoring the ball this year. They really have. Last night was... I'm only kidding. But I, that, I, I just wanted to take a gratuitous shot at Ben Howland. This was my opportunity. Well, they did. They fired him because ultimately they... They won, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't win titles, and the fan base was frustrated at watching a team play in the '50s and '60s. So when Mick Cronin got the job, I was actually talking to his dad the other night. Have mm -hmm. Cronin, who was a longtime uh, Cincinnati high school coach, um, also an, a, a major league baseball out. scout for the Atlanta Braves, and he said, "Listen, I wasn't sure that my son was going to be able to get it done there, but mm -hmm. he adapted." He adapted and he's given his players freedom and he's recruited, you know, to me, you got to have that blend, right? You got to have those guys in California that maybe some people call a little soft, but you know, they could score the ball. He couldn't get those yeah. guys at Cincy. He, he, he got a certain type of kid and that was a fighter, a defensive minded player. Now the beauty of Mick Cronin is he can keep getting those guys yeah. But he can also add to it skill guys who can really shoot. So, I listen, this is a team that went first four to final four for a reason. They lost their, their final four regular season games yes. of, of the season. Uh, they weren't great. But, but Bob, they lost their best player, Chris Smith, mm -hmm. who were torn ACL early in the season. December 31st was his last game. And the other guy they lost that people forget about, a kid named Dacian Nix, who I mm -hmm. saw play in AU ball a big guard who is an elite level passer, elite level. He's in the NBA G league ignite team. Okay. Yeah. So they stole him from him after he had already signed at UCLA. So if you add on, those are the, their two most probably talented players. If you add those two guys onto this team, no, it's hard. then oh, yeah. you, you could be talking about a team that, that wouldn't have snuck in to the NCAA tournament, but would have probably been maybe the best team in, in the PAC 12. Oh,